receive any circumstances, there are limitations or unlimited circumstances, no justification should be made as per the Asana, as per the common consensus of the universal justice system and global civilization. So this we should understand, it is very much remarkably placed by our Asana. The third thing is, what is our Asana? You know, the Asana is what we call our Asana. The Asana is that it is particularly each and every element has the best thing and also the worst thing. Alcohol is nothing but the exception of the worst thing, the processing of the worst thing that should be totally condemned at all. The excreta of each and every creation, it is meant for its own preservation. It is not meant for extraction, processing and consumption by other people. So it is like excreta, it cannot be condemned at all. It is totally against the central nervous system's function. It is a depressant of central nervous system. Moreover, it does not go through the digestion system, it is directly absorbed with blood. And blood concentration of alcohol is now red as a very dangerous symbol for the existence of the cardiac system as well as the circulatory system. The third thing is, as all cell membranes are easily permeable with mutual chambers and eyes, it is easily penetrated inside, resulting in blood, vision, confusion, lack of coordination of thinking and proper memory. It deals with also asphyxiation, it also deals with the enlargement of heart and various other problems which are physical in nature. So we should understand these things are very much common and also known to the drunkards more than the other people who are maintaining the campaign. So we should understand that we have to work. It is not in bringing awareness about what are the effects of alcohol. It is to create a, the moral fortitude or the ethical courage in see the people by a spiritual transmission so that they can understand what they know already. It is what we have to do in this campaign, not by introducing all of these things which are already published. They experience more effects than what the campaign makers are doing. We don't know the experience. They are more knowledgeable than us for the reason that they are experiencing what we are just talking. So they are greater than that. What we need is to install a moral courage inside them. There are a lot of excuses for this alcoholism. They used to say that it is Nilu Pana in Shastra. I will just read them again. One is the status or pride. It's a thing that is a guilt and shame. Before you use this, it was a guilt and shame. Even before DK. Now it is a pride symbol. Even domestic parties between family members, then public parties and vegetables, it is a must. It is a little must. So it is a pride symbol. And second thing is taste. You know that whenever we see an insect, you know, food we immediately throw not only the insect but also the food. But there are certain creatures like lizards for whom the insect is the food. So it is a taste but configuration. Like that is the worst taste in the world. And it could be relished only because of the poor configuration when the person gets a real mastery over his own conscience and proper education realization. He feels that whatever he did earlier is still the we want to bring realization, all the other things like control, government policies, everything is integration. We don't negate them. Simultaneously, the earlier and permanent source should be brought only by realization. So that's why we should say taste is also not the problem. The third thing I have already told about company and association needs to And there is a meeting in the society that alcohol is a booster, a reliever and a user. Somebody told great people, great thinkers, scientists and great artists and musicians, they are drunk off. It is not like that they belong to a special category. In spite of that intoxified nature, they used to perform with precision, which cannot be possible by all people, so it is a wrong imitation. And second thing, even those people, they are affected physically by their wrong habits. The third thing, we have to go for alternative inference. If they have not taken that liquor, have taken some other positive thing, they would have excelled more. This is the real the system of inference. So, false justification or wrong matching of things, considering that it is a booster of all of the person's expertise and dexterity, is a myth. Second thing is, reading of stress and pain, no, it induces more. The third thing is, it is also a stimulator of sleep or something. There is a research known as hypnoalcoholics. What is the impact of alcoholism on sleep? Does it produce sleep? Does it produce anti-energetic nature like painlessness? No, it is not. That. Everything is a speculation, a wrong calculation. It appears to be so and it gives a irretrievable loss in the future. That's what they have researched. So we should also understand that there is no medical qualities in the 
naturally impelled alcohol is there inside the body, also inside various other acidity contents in the creation of God, which are natural preservatives, the external extraction, processing, and consuming liquor and alcohol as a separate entity can never act as a medical product, can also act as an anti-medical product, as a factor drug. You cannot give any benefit at all. The final thing is religious justification. Lack of people say religion says about the sacrifice of animals. Religion says about the drinking of wine. Somapana was very much researched in Hinduism also. We should understand that each and every religion teaches innumerable things. Forgetting everything, why you are very sincerely covering this all? And that also, that video was entirely different and anti-religion. And those things, those qualitative elements are not available now. You are not so good to know. So even religious justification for all of these things cannot be permitted. Final thing is very interesting. They say that standard and quality. There are some quality drinks which are not harmful. It is pure exploitation of poor people. Poor people cannot afford to purchase all of these things as they are having more tension and stress, they will go for more drinking. So they have to give them two expenditure. One is purchasing more drinks and drinking them. Second is if they are getting into any illness, the treatment medical expenditure is more. So this type of this thing, it creates exploitation of poor people who cannot afford for the high-end drinks. So anyway, there is no justification for all of these things at any quality and standard in this society. It leads to the first sin, what we call as intellectual decoordination. Your ability to think, execute and plan will be totally reduced and it will be permeated into the non-contextual zones. What is that? Somebody told that if I drink it, I cannot think and coordinate. So after that I can coordinate. It is not correct because whenever you drink, the impact of your alcoholism that extends also to your non-alcoholic zones of life and then it heavily infects your coordination to think and execute. So a person who is drinking, even while he has not drunk, he will have the same impact, similar impact and sophisticated impact of de-coordination or de-alignment of his ability to think, plan and execute. So it is not justifiable at all. The second thing is physically nervous debilitation and the premature death is there. That is also there. In mind, the person is made more brutal. Already if a person is brutal, he is made more brutal. That is known as what we call primary nature. There are two things. One is primary nature, second is silent nature. If a person is already a brutal person, a violent person, if he drinks, he becomes more. If a person has the brutality hidden inside because of fear, because of balancing, because of emotional control, which is withholding that violent nature, if he takes that alcohol, he is withholding nature and emotional balance, totally rules out and the person becomes violent. So non-violent person, inner violence, he is stimulated and a violent person's violent nature is intensified. So at any cost, it should not be made so. Final thing is sin. Somebody tell what is the sin? There are three problems with alcohol. One is external damage. It spoils all of your character people, associates and accompaniments. Second is internal damage. It spoils your mind, your body and other things. Even if you say that I don't disturb anybody and I am very healthy, it gives you the subtle corrosion of your spiritual ability. So it should not be taken. Somebody may say that, no, I am not feeling any unhealthy experience. I am very unhealthy, still I am taking drinks for the past four decades. I am not disturbing, quarreling with anybody. If I take, I love people more. You can say that of certification. Even we say that alcohol is the seat of truth. When somebody drinks, then only they bring the real truth. So there are innumerable justifications, but they are not real. There are innumerable good days for that. So this is what we should understand. That what is the, the ill effect that we have to understand from this alcohol. In modern society, there is more solitude, there is no relation between the family people, there is more wrong company, there is more opportunities to be stressy, to be more frustrating. So here, new things come, number one. Innovation of new varieties, fusion of new varieties, more liberal marketing, and everything is raising the biggest heads in the most uh, cruel and clumsy form that this is the worst thing of the world. What is the duty? What is the duty of the self? What is the duty of the parents? What is the duty of the government? The government has more duty. They have to do parallel action, number one. They have to prevent these things from being manufactured. They should be heavily taxed. They should be highly controlled and limited. They should be heavily licensed on various uh, scrupulous and stipulated conditions. They should be minimized. And incentives should be given for people, those who are going away from that. And punishment should be severe for people, those who are uh, violating the rules of this making and all of these various things by means of the retributive and contributive systems of justice should be implied. 
proper prosecution and immediate punishment should be there. Lot of incentives should be there. And simultaneously, there should be training, awareness, rehabilitation, and various issues. It should be a panel of governance. It should be there. But if the person